What could you possibly upgrade for the kind of person who already has one of these, one of these, a setup like this, and even blows money on a, is this a BMW wheel for your racing sim? Yeah. That was almost certainly taken from work. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. It's time for Jake's Intel Extreme Tech Upgrade and, well, it looks like you came up with some stuff. Man, you have expensive taste. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do I mean? I bought things used. How much was this? The Fanatec Club Sport Shifter SQ. It's probably like $300 US. $100 shifter. I already it have doesn't one. even go in a real car. <laughs> We're going to have some fun. <laughs> Not my real dad. What's wrong with this one? I don't. I don't know if I really have an answer. <laughs> it's like fine. <laughs> I think the answer is Intel sponsored this video and gave him a five thousand dollar budget. Yeah. And that one hot as fancy. Here's your steering wheel back. <laughs> what are we doing here? Well, I spent a lot of my money on audio. Oh, uh, I yeah, left I see that. one of those things downstairs. Why don't we carry that upstairs first? Oh, good. Let's play my favorite game. Stolen. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stolen. Hey, I get to recant, rebuttal. Points at something from the office here, huh? Mm. <laughs> I like this game. I bought that from Luke, so maybe it is from the office. No, it's not. <laughs> this is almost No, certain. I actually bought one. <laughs> I swear to God, I bought one. I will show you the receipt. Okay, nothing so far. I mean, other than what I found already. What did you find already? The giant oh. one terabyte thumb drive. <laughs> and I brought that just for this video. And there's okay. no way you bought those cable ties. <laughs> Which one? Oh yeah, definitely not. Well, don't, don't go down there. Well, I the... thought we we're getting a subwoofer. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, sure. Don't go down there. Ooh, stay out of my house. All this down here is a litter box. What am I even looking at here? It's a litter robot. It just spins. Wait, what? And then there's a sieve there, you see? Yeah. So the litter goes into the sieve and then the poop stays on the other side. Oh, and then no it dumps way. it into the bottom. What's one of these worth? It's like 700 bucks. What? A $700 motion sensor and motor? Yeah. I think it's patented. He's like, what the hell's going on with my poop? Yeah. Don't look at the auto feeder either. Don't look at that. Let's go back well, upstairs. How much was the auto feeder? I think feeder? it was only like a hundred bucks. To be fair, there was a reason for that. Well, yeah, your cat was fat. Yeah, that wasn't the reason, but. That's all, oh, that's the reason. Well, he's lighter now. Pick him up. Oh, I don't know if I would describe him as thin. I think he's still a pretty thin boy. Does he get held on his back? Do you guys do that? Uh, oh, that's a, that's uh, a big fat I don't, no. I don't think he knows you that well yet. Oh my God. So this is the same. Is this for your computer? Yeah. Why? Why? Yes, what he said. <laughs> the neighbors are gonna hate you. <laughs> no, my office is like on the side that there's nobody. Oh. Buddy thought of that. <laughs> I like the way the you other think. sub is not. <laughs> I'd be pretty stoked if you did the computer. I like doing computer. Look at it. It's so clean. Where it? Oh my! Ew! Oh ew! Ew! <laughs> I thought that was gray. <gasps> oh! Do you see how much came off when I pulled this off? Ah, uh, yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Okay. I swear I vacuum it regularly. I swear you're full of. Sh Look at the art. Isn't that pretty? This is pretty. Ugly. My friend Douglas drew that. Really? Shout out the architect's garage. This is Jake's car. You can't drive that. It's a painting. Hey! <laughs> I mean, he can drive a two-dimensional car just fine, David. Yes, exactly. Hey, actually, speaking of which, one of these predators is definitely from work. Yeah, I bought it from work. Mm -hmm. Actually, both of them are from work. That is literally what they all say. All right, I'm gonna build a computer. I think you should do it downstairs. I'm gonna build a computer right here. Well, cause I gotta do stuff in here. You gotta do stuff in here. Well, what we the gotta, hell are you doing in here? Well, we gotta hang up the speakers. I paid 200 bucks for them on Craigslist. I think they usually sell for like 600, so I was pretty stoked about that. Used speakers is yes. the way to go. Used audio everything, just yeah. buy used. Headphones I can understand. Oh my God, you're wrapped around the $2,000 uh -oh. headphones. Oh God, <laughs> how did that even happen? What, is, oh, oh my God, that's under a lot of tension actually. <laughs> Leave your brother alone. Did I tell you you have to water cool it? I noticed. And change the motherboard and CPU and RAM? Okay. This thing runs at like 90 degrees. Yeah. Sometimes I restart my computer and it says like CPU overheat warning. This is not gonna improve the situation. But this is. But that will. Okay. 
Jake's upgrade is actually pretty straightforward then. He's already got an RTX 3080, so we're not gonna be changing out his GPU. Yeah. Already got a great power supply, good quality case that just needs a <laughs> little cleaning. So we're going platform upgrade. From this 5900X, we're going to a 13900K, arguably the fastest gaming CPU on the planet. 32 gigs of DDR5 memory, and wow. <laughs> I'm sorry, did you just buy a motherboard that costs as much as your last CPU memory combo? I think it costs more than the new CPU even. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I asked for like a Z790E or F and then they sent this. So thanks Asus for the free upgrade and Intel for the free upgrade. Yeah, does that count against your budget? How does that work? I'm not asking questions. I think I will make your life a bit easier. You can use- That was the first time for everything. Yeah! It's, I feel like it's usually the other way around. Anyways, you can use the stock fans that are in here. Um, you think the EK ones are better? I have to have a look at them. You know what's really funny is I saw, I forget who it was, but someone just announced a fan and they're like, yeah, it's really optimized for pressure on radiators because there's no random gaps around the frame. So it like really pushes all the thing through. And it brought me back to, I swear to you, like 10 years ago when Corsair released their first AIOs and their fans had these gaps around the frame and I did this masking tape mod where you just like cover the gaps and it lowered temps by like a degree or two. And I'm sitting here going, Whoa, who is designing radiator fans that have gaps around the frames? And people have still been doing it for yeah, 10 years. Yeah. Drives me crazy. Uh, these do not have gaps around the frames though. These look like they will actually mate properly with a radiator. So I'm kind of tempted to put these in. Okay. I mean, it's your wiring nightmare. I know you feel like you're helping, but taking the box that contained all the water cooling parts no, I wanted so to nicely make a mess. Yeah. and blowing it up all over the counter was not actually helpful. Well, that was like the goal. Thanks. Got him. This is no longer secure. <laughs> and that is why oh my God. an LGA socket is not a bad thing to have. I mean, the good news is the dust filters are clearly working. Look at this. This thing's clean. I started putting the cooler brackets on, but then I remembered I have the, this thing. Ooh, the this, contact the frame. The contact frame. I figure for 20 bucks, I might as well just throw it on That's there. That's worth a couple degrees. By the time you're going custom water cooling, if you're not using the best thermal compound or picking up one of these contact frames, which the function's right in the name, it helps the cooler make better contact with the CPU you're kind of not doing it right. Mind you, you shouldn't have to buy these. No. But. That's dumb. We're doing it. But here we are. Oh, this replaces the top of the socket. Which I don't know how much I like this contact frame and that you have to take all this off, but don't over tighten it when you put it back on. <laughs> this is a really, really sensitive operation. You do not want to drop a screw or anything like that in this yeah. land grid array Oh, you know what I should do Just, is. Yeah, put the CPU in there. So you have to be able to hold it down while also screwing it in. And as soon as you put down the one side, it kind of springs up the other side. This very much voids the warranty on your motherboard and CPU if you tell them you used it though, just so you know. Oh, Jesus. It's tight. There we go. Question for you, Jake. Right I'm about front. to mount the radiator. Uh, yes, I know, I know you want it in the front, but do you want the fans in front of the rad or do you want the fans behind the rad? I vote front. It's got a fan filter. Okay. I might need a hand getting these in here then. What are you? You're... So basically- Oh, I see what you're doing. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta hold them mushed. So if you can grab those cables and then if we can pull this across. Hold on, let me tuck the cables in through that cable management. I just wanna get this first one. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, back up the bus. All right, how you doing, how you doing? How you doing? This is definitely not the absolute fastest RAM I could put on this board, but it is 6,000 CL32. So it's pretty quick. Oh, wow. Um, it was the same price as CL46,000. It was on sale. So it was like 230 or 240 bucks US. Wow. So yeah, goodbye. You wanna throw me that board? Are you ready for that? I think we should, uh, actually, we no. should put this in first. No, I wanna put the fans in the top and the back first. No, I don't wanna put fans on the top. Why don't you want fans in the top? Just the back is fine. What? No, I don't, I don't, I don't want, want I don't want top fans. Yeah, no, it'll look but they're fine. they're white, they're like. I know, but ugh. they'll be somewhere else. I'd rather you put that black knock to a fan. Will it fit? No. Aw, oh, damn it. That's a negatory. Wait, I have more EK fans. RGB fans. I have an AIO as well. Oh. Yeah. Sold. Just go grab that, it's upstairs. All right. It's in the closet. Should I wall mount the speakers? Let's go have a look at it. Okay. 
So, do you, are they, is it like an angled mount? Like, yeah, you know? I would probably go further over. Oh, you wanna go like to the corner, Connor? Is that how far they stick off the wall? <laughs> They're huge! <laughs> That's okay, the what about today's video? We got sick boys. What about like just lay it sideways on the desk? Um, I might have to bring the monitor up a bit, but I am not gonna lie. I hate the aesthetic of a f lying flat monitor. But if you're into it, and it, it, it kind of fits perfect. And look, it? we have this cool thing. So this company is called Sonar Works, and they make. What does that look like? Uh, I don't know, like a fancy thermometer, some kind of probe. Oh, it's a microphone. Yeah, it's a correction microphone. So usually when you have computer speakers, you can't really room correct them unless you buy like a home theater receiver and use that. But you don't want a home theater receiver. Yeah. They're huge and they use a lot of power. So this company makes a piece of software. You hook up this mic, you measure your computer speakers and it makes a correction profile for them. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And they have headphone correction profiles too. All right, are we gonna go? Are we gonna go this route then? I think this is the way to go. Slight problem with that plan. I have a new monitor for the side, and it's bigger. You know what though? I already volunteered for downstairs work on the computer duty, so that sounds like a <laughs> you problem. <laughs> we moved the computer, so now there's so much dust in the room. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on. You're not allowed to go in there. I'm not allowed in there because. This is where you keep all the big stuff you took from the office. You said I could borrow that. Yeah, I said you could borrow it. That was like two years ago. And look, you have one at your house too. I steal more from the office than anyone. Yes. Oh my God, it's you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Riffy. It's a thick boy. <laughs> it's gonna do many wubs though. It's nothing like a 12 inch high excursion driver as a footrest. <laughs> It's ergonomic. On the one hand, okay, you can count on Jake to put like tons of research into everything he buys. But on the other hand, it's like individual research into that individual item. The amount of thought into how it all goes together tends to be a little... Look, more scattered RCA time. splitter. All right. This monitor is pretty sick. It's, uh, it's DVI. Woo! But it does work. I have DVI to display port. I think by sick you mean ill. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is stolen from the office. What? Actually, uh, no, this isn't. No, it's not. Nope. This NHD9L is almost certainly stolen from the office, though. Oh, yeah, 100%. There's the asset tag. This is definitely stolen from the office. Yeah. I no longer care because I don't want these things to appear on I camera. I think you told but... me to take that one home. And a second I fix it kit. That one is probably from the office. <laughs> Well, I don't think you're the worst. You missed the NAS in the garage. Oh my God. It's the garage heater. Yeah, no, I do not like to be licked by dogs. Riff, like, go. No. Go. Place. Go. <laughs> oh, God. don't get the camera lens. He's like. <laughs> Why do I always end up under people's desks? I couldn't help noticing that you could use some of our upcoming magnetic cable management yeah, things well, keyword, for your power strip. Keyword upcoming. This monitor is a bit overkill as a side monitor. Hello, Ripley. It's 165 hertz IPS. I think it's display HDR 400. Yeah, it totally is. <laughs> and this is my side monitor. What? This is for Twitch chat. But they have gotten so cheap. This yeah. is like a $400 monitor, Canadian. Yeah. On sale. That's like 300 real dollars. Yeah. Hey, can you, can you help? What? Oh, well, I am helping. I'm jamming your sub under the desk. Okay. <laughs> Oh, mint. I like these mounts a lot. I think it's gonna have to go up a bit. Yeah. I don't know if the other one can even, so it's not enough. <laughs> it's like all the way up and it's still not. It's good enough for the video. Why did you pee in the house? No. Jake's dog That's had an bad. accident, so I'm on my own in here right now. This surround sound setup has gotta be for the sim chair. You're gonna have two giant subwoofers in this room, Jake. What the hell, man? You're not my real dad. I didn't know Logitech even still makes these 5.1 kits. Guess how much I paid for this. It's used, but brand new. It was a hundred bucks. What? <laughs> yeah. I think it's usually four or 500. Yeah. I'm, they're not amazing. They're not gonna sound anywhere as good as those calf speakers, but they're also pretty good, especially well, for a racing set. Yeah, if what you want is directional audio. Yeah. Hey, look in this box. You're never gonna guess where all these cables are from. Wow. 
It's from Infinite Cables. Yeah, Infinite Cables. What a surprise. Jake never shills for Infinite Cables. <laughs> Look, they make great products, okay? <laughs> but this is pretty cool. Active optical display port to run to this monitor. I was using a long normal cable yeah. and it was not It's it. flaky. No, it, was, no, it couldn't, flaky. couldn't run the full res. Couldn't help noticing that this is a really long cable to go from there to there. Yeah, I was just trying to future proof. <laughs> the thing about optical cables is that most of the cost is in the transceivers. Yeah. This is cheap. This is expensive. So the cost difference between a hundred foot one and a 25 foot one is actually it's pretty like, low. It's like 20 bucks. Yeah. This is uh, 50 foot and the 25 I think was $10 less. I'm sorry, Jake, uh, you gave me two RCAs. Do you want the red one or the white one to plug in the sub? Both of them. You're not using the LFE, you're using- Oh, that's right. I always see that on subwoofers. I'm like, well, who would plug this into a subwoofer? You get the sub out. It's when you have a two channel DAC that doesn't have a sub channel. <laughs> so I'm using an RCA splitter. One channel will go in there. And the other one there. And then the other cable goes to the speaker amp. And this goes to the sub. It's cheaty, but it should still sound fine. Oh God, okay, everything's plugged in. You gotta see the wiring behind here. Oh, it's, no. it's a spicy salami, I will say. Even with banana plugs, that looks like a disaster. Well, it's because of the, the splitter, right? To demo this audio, we need a computer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we don't. Oh, I guess we should work on the computer then. Yeah. Jakey! What? I solved it! Am I gonna put those behind my desk? Yeah! I don't know. What do you mean you don't? I don't know. You have surround speaker stands and you're sitting here going, I don't know how I'm gonna put my surround sound in. Oh, on the racing set? Yeah! That's actually moderately intelligent. This was literally sitting on your porch. Yeah, and the fronts are easy because I can like 3D yeah. print a mount for the monitor. This case is actually gonna be like filled up. I'll have a reason to have bought the 5,000. Oh, we need to make sure there's clearance for the GPU. Yeah. We've definitely run into that before. You want to pull it's that where it's going to go? It's not a super long GPU, mm -hmm. but... Oh, fudge. <laughs> yeah, well, we're going to make oh, sure wait. anyway. <gasps> wow. Damn, brother. Wow. How many, how many millimeters you got there? I don't know, but I'm not buying a 4090, that's for sure. No, you can't raise that bracket. It needs to go here or nowhere else. That's it. Yep, perfect. What even is that power cable? <laughs> it's just a, I just have a barrel jack just chilling here. I've no, oh, it's for my headphone amp. This is actually a new product from JDS Labs, the Element 3 Boosted. So it has twice the power of the previous Element 3. It's a DAC amp combo. So you plug your USB in, you plug your power in, and it's gonna convert the digital signals to analog signals and then amplify them so you can listen on fancy headphones that need lots of power. Fortunately, it uses the same cables as my old amp and the same power supply, so I don't have to change any of that. Ooh, look at that. This thing is, this is a lot nicer than the one I had. Hold the knob, David. Experience the knob. Shift. It feels pretty nice. That's pretty cool, yeah. That's pretty neat. <laughs> the nice thing about this one too, is I don't have to have a separate USB cable. I can actually hook this right into the wheelbase, which oh. is kind of nice. Previously, I had USB cable for this, USB cable for this, and USB cable for the pedal. So now I'll be down to two, which is nice. Hey, the holes do line up. Sick. Uh, can I pass this to you? Which one? Through the back? No, that oh, yeah, probably. Side. And then I need it here, where my finger is. Oh. Uh. <laughs> well, it can be any one of the fans because they're just gonna all daisy chain together and go onto one of these RGB right. letters. Um, so maybe this one would be Wait, easier. you put off? I swear to God. Take them out. I don't want top fans. I don't know what you're talking about. God damn it, dude. <laughs> Can't take you. Okay, let me see at least. Can't. Okay, fine, whatever. <laughs> I mean, okay, I guess it's technically a win. Life is all about utterly meaningless victories, Jake. I'm just gonna start making some executive decisions. Whoa, in terms whoa, of the whoa, loop Mr. Layout here. Executive Decisions. Hold on. I think it's I think it's good. What in the f look, look, hold on, hold on. Just just chill for a second. The problem is we got a lot of fitting density over here. Uh -huh. So I'm kind of thinking out to here, out to here, over to here. And then that to that. That's exactly That's what, what I said. you said? Okay. Yeah. okay cool. cool. See you. You're, you're there. You're on it. <laughs> he knows what he's doing. I love having my ideas repeated to me. I think I got a defective screw. This screw just snapped off right in the thing. 
And then another one is not going in. Are you silly goose? Are they not long enough? No, they're long enough. I don't know what's happening here. You're the silly goose. No, I don't think I'm a silly goose. You're a goose, man. I mean, goose, maybe. Silly, no. Serious goose. <laughs> I'm the serious just goose. What the? Do you just do the same thing on the screw? Hell is going on. No, it's. Why are you wrecking my rad, man? It just won't go in. Yeah, I'm. <laughs> You tell him, David. <laughs> Man, even that one. Did you try to put them one in both of these? No, uh, the top one, yeah. The bottom one you didn't? I, I did so. not crossroad that. I don't get it. They're just not going in, Jake. Yeah, you're right. Are you just going for it? Yeah. Okay, hopefully it doesn't snap off again. I think I have better. Oh. Okay, it's in. Okay, then as long as we can get one more in, it's fine. We're not shipping the thing, but. Please don't break. Screw, I love you. Your mate. Not gonna lie, Jake, I'm not super into the color of your coolant here. <laughs> it's a little bit pea color. Oh yeah, I didn't show the finished build. There it is. 13900K, 3080, water cooling done. It's not the finest water loop ever, but That's all right. the price was right. I don't really care what it looks like at all. I just want it to perform well. Oh yeah, for sure. That's uh, that's why you were all upset about the non-matching fans and rhyming them in the top. Like, I don't really care how it looks like at all. I just it just needs to be exactly the way I like it. It just needs to be matched because like OCD, you know. <laughs> Wait a second. Are we filling a water loop or are we enjoying a refreshing Capri Sun? <laughs> Juice beverage. What is this? A little bit of both. A fill bag. Hey, it doesn't look that yellow. Yeah, it's gonna look pretty yellow in the res, man. Wish me luck. Oh, oh my god. No, do it from get here. Some, uh, Are I you can't get in there? Oh, come on, try. No, no, I got no, this. Dude, oh my god. Oh my god. Hold on, hold on. I'm not gonna get me sideways. Okay. All right, actually, fair. I would like to see you pour water fluid. <laughs> <laughs> it's yellow. <laughs> <laughs> I want to watch you pour a washer for <laughs> <laughs> Told you I'm a car guy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, of all the people I would trust to do this, it's you because I always know you can buy me a new motherboard. <laughs> <laughs> Not because you think I'll pour out. Wow, after look at that! Oh, the, this is a lot of RGB. Look how happy he is about the fans that are in the top. I don't, I don't, really, I don't really care about those ones. No, I just mean awesome. I've never had this much RGB in my computer before. This looks amazing. Yeah, it looks dope. Okay, this is this is a pretty pretty good looking machine. Oh, I like that they put a clear cap on. Yeah, that. yeah. that's. Although the metal fittings look a little. I don't know. No, I like it. I like it. I wish they were black, but I yeah, like that's the... what I mean. I wish oh, all of these oh, were I black. See, see. And look, it doesn't really look that pee with the RGB. You're right. Okay. This still looks like pee though. <laughs> that looks like a pee bag. I don't even know if I should point this out to you. Is the bottom van not spinning? Because now, oh, it's spinning. <laughs> that ain't the problem. Uh, but EK misaligned the sticker. <laughs> oh my god. That's awful. That's actually really bad. <laughs> what a stupid, tiny, utterly meaningless defect. <laughs> but don't worry, it's okay, EK, because he doesn't care what the computer looks like. <laughs> Maybe I'll get Dan to fix it. <laughs> Why do I enjoy it so much when I know that things bother Jake? Oh, I know, because he enjoys it just as much when things bother me. He's not wrong. Jake, your setup is ridiculous. What? You have an audio interface just on the floor next to your leg thing. Your subwoofer is sitting on a piece of particle board. The cables under here are probably the worst I've ever seen. What? Did, what? What's bad about them? <laughs> What is the problem? Like there's too many of them? Oh I just genuinely don't understand. These were managed and zap, zip tied, like cable tied nicely. And then I started taking stuff apart to remove some of the old stuff last week. That's why the cables were hanging down. Knock, knock. Who's there? What kind of cable ties do you have for an extreme tech upgrade? Extreme cable ties. Oh. This is not the worst thing I've ever done. Oh, How no. bad is this gonna be? Uh. Am I gonna not like it? Pretty good. It'll be pretty good. good. It occurs to me that with the amount of footage we've shot today, there's gonna be one hell of a float plane behind the scenes with all the extra footage. So go subscribe over on floatplane.com if you want basically this, but a lot more of it. Oh, that's nice. Good job on it. Oh yeah, that's fine. But we just want to try it, right? Like, yeah, whatever. sure. I'll 3D print something cool. in like three years. Hey, it works. Nice. 
Yes, new CPU installed. That's uh, understandable. <laughs> okay, this is, uh, th this is, uh, I mean, they're on. <laughs> and guess what? Now you have to um, wire them all. Oh my God. That thing is huge. I think, no, no, don't tape that thing. <laughs> Just leave it on top of the sub, seriously. <laughs> Do you want to get licked by a dog? Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm stepping right, right. in the pee. Move the thing. <laughs> <laughs> that explains why my sock is wet. No, God dang. Oh my God, those are so cute. And they're all Caddo's ones. Okay, but I got three that kind of match. Four is an odd number. I was thinking maybe you wanted to take one. These are so cute. I want to keep these three. I was thinking you take that one. Where are? Uh, where, what are these from? Uh, Who some does artist these? on Society something. Society six. Oh, that's that's super cute. I will take you up on that. Hey, it runs a two point five gig. Nice. Two point five gig is such a game changer. Yeah, I at don't. At home, you don't need ten gig. No. I can't say I'm a huge fan of how you have that speaker sitting there. Which one? <laughs> the one that's like almost falling <laughs> off the desk. Which one? Yeah, the one that's hanging off the. De oh. And, oh my god. My god. god. What was that? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I played the test tone. Here, do it again, do it I'm again. I'm gonna turn it way down. Uh. Oh, sorry, David. It's really balanced audio. Left, right. That's what that was? Left, right. There, you wanna hear it again? Okay. That's a, that sub does wubs. Oh. I turned it down to like minus 40. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What? What? I forgot about the sub. Oh. I, was, I was so busy listening to the stereo speakers, and it's like, mm, you and then it came good. in there. <laughs> Just give it a sec. This is so dumb. I know it's great, right? I mean, you put a theater sub at your desk. These, okay. this, these have the same amp as the ones that are in your theater. I know that. <laughs> Let's try the racing sim. All right, what game am I playing? A set of Corsa. So this is very simmy, hey? Yeah. Oi! Oh, you're not even allowed to run over those little things? Well, I thought that, I thought this, whoa, 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 what, what the hell is happening here? Why, why are there things in the middle of the road, Jake? What? What, what is this? this? You gotta enter the trap. <laughs> sounds All good, right. eh? Yeah, sounds great. And that torque on this wheel, Jake. Is it, it must be better with more torque. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that eight Newton meters is good. Uh-oh. Slow down, slow down, slow oh, down, no. slow down, slow down. I don't know the track, Jake! I don't know the track! Why do you always crash at the same spot? <laughs> oh my god, I've never driven this car in this game, but... Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got it! He's got it! <laughs> Unlike most extreme tech upgrades, I can't really say that I see the difference. <laughs> um, if anything, it's kind of messier in some ways. But a place. lot of money was spent. Yeah. And the experience. Racing and Sim surround sound, pretty good. New shifter, pretty good. It may not be cable managed, but my boy here doesn't seem to care much because this setup looks like an absolute blast. Uh, you're definitely going to want to do something about oh, the that one's falling off? Uh, stickers here. <laughs> but that sounds like a problem for another day. In the meantime, thank you, Intel, for one of the uh, maybe not cleanest looking, but certainly most interesting extreme tech upgrades. If you guys enjoyed this video, you can go check out the playlist with the whole series that we're going to have linked down below.